The Idaho National Laboratory has kept Idaho in the nuclear energy game for decades, and they've developed a new device that will help fuel experiments for the future as part of a joint collaboration between the U.S. and Japan. NBC's, excuse me, News Channel 7's Jude Binkley learned about Thor from a researcher on the project. The research we do on, on nuclear fuels is, is about enhancing their performance while improving, at least maintaining, but imp improving safety. In the East Idaho desert, inside the TREAT reactor, the INL has developed a new device called THOR. The experiments being done with the device will help research with advanced reactors, the next generation of nuclear reactor. They're typically distinguished by uh, advanced designs that, that uh, I'd say highlight things like passive safety, uh, improved economics, and, and things like that. The device was developed as part of a collaboration between the U.S. and Japan that allows researchers to test fuels in a sodium coolant environment, which is used in advanced reactors. For the first time in more than two decades, researchers will also be able to perform transient testing on fast reactor fuels. Things sometimes we refer to it as safety testing. In general, it's, it's applying dynamic temperature conditions to, to the nuclear fuels. During their lifetime, they're, they're typically operating in a very, I'd say, stable condition, power, everything. But they do, they do go through transients during startups or shutdowns. Engineers at the INL have already performed several experiments in the device on advanced metallic fuels. And in the future, they'll be testing other fuels. This kind of testing and, and these nuclear fuels are, are quite unique to Idaho. It's something that it has a real strong potential for the future. Things like the TerraPower Natrium reactor is using similar kind of fuels. And, and it really has origins here in, in the Idaho desert. So I think it's, it's really pretty neat for it to be something that has so much potential influence on, on the energy future. And in a way, this project has kind of come full circle. In the 80s, the U.S. and Japan were working to do transient testing at another facility at the, in Idaho, but the program was shut down. So now they're able to accomplish some of those same goals.